I want to talk about my favorite things about Linux. And I want to do this uh, because I think it needs to be said. I've been working with Linux for the last 25 years and I've become accustomed to a lot of things that I enjoy. And I've lost a lot of things along the way. Applications that are no longer being worked on, that have been forgotten, that can still be used with a little bit of workarounds, but don't exist anymore. One of my favorite things is honestly GNOME. Uh, the way it's evolving is not in everybody's best interest, but still it works for me the way that I do things uh, with the extensions that I use to make it work. There's not really that many of them. If I click this button, this is it. I don't even use some of these actually. I was just testing some. Let's actually turn the ones off I don't use. There we go. Turned it off and it went broke. Uh, blur my shell. GNOME is extremely customizable. It lets me have my dock. It lets me have my applications in one spot. It lets me do everything I need to. It gives me my workspaces. Uh, it gives me my menu when I need it. A place to put an icon to be like, hey, yeah, this is Fedora. Uh, easy access to everything else. You know, it works. And it functions. And a lot of people will put it down and they'll put me down for liking it. But it doesn't change the fact that I really do love GNOME. And I love making GNOME into my own little thing. And so many people have been enjoying how I have my GNOME. And it kind of blows me away to see that type of support. It means a lot. Another thing I like about Linux is the another thing I like about Linux is the flexibility of applications. Like having three stores all put into one, Epic, GOG, and Prime Gaming, into a single launcher and having all your games just function from one spot. That is amazing. And then having a program like Lutris cover the rest. So EA app and Ubi Connect and uh, even the Blizzard App Store so you can play whatever you want. And the fact that Linux is constantly evolving means this is improving constantly and that makes it even better. The fact that I can get apps like Photoshop to fully work and function and enjoy them, uh, where I can enjoy Guild Wars 2 now without much of an issue, where I can go and play Battlefield 1, 4, 5, hopefully 2042 one day, that would be great. And games, uh, programs like Oral Draw don't work for me, but I don't really exactly have a proper installer for it. But FL Studios uh, and other crazy applications, they work. And that makes it all worth it. People put Linux gaming down a lot. They like to say that a lot of games don't work. When in fact, a lot of games do work. More games than you'll ever possibly imagine do work, but most people just concentrate on the newest titles and the things they complain about the most are anti-cheat games those are the ones that don't work not all of them don't work most of them do work it's just specific ones that have said no to linux because they don't know how linux works and it scares developers a little bit to know that there's another operating system that they don't really have much control over so they end up saying no like the battlefield developers said no to linux or battlefield 2042 it's a sad reality, it is what it is, but gaming is constantly evolving and it will only get better. Recently, they went and added DirectX 8 support to DXBK, meaning now we have a whole slew, a library of games support to DXBK, meaning now we have a whole slew, a li library of games that will now work under Vulkan with amazing performance. That is something incredible to look forward to and i hope they do the same thing with directx 7 and whatever else i hope we have the entire directx library fully rendered one day using vulcan because there's little to no overhead and that's the important part another thing that most people don't understand about linux but also my favorite thing is teaching them and helping them along because why not right i mean if you can you know, teach a person to fish and feeds himself the rest of the day, then uh, why not teach a person to use Linux so he doesn't need Windows? For those of you who do need Windows, I know I was just, I was making a joke. We do that from time to time. It's called being human. Some other of my favorite things are custom versions of Proton. 
which have better compatibility than the original. And the fact that they're constantly evolving and changing and doing lots of crazy stuff, I honestly find that that is uh, very impressive. And the amount of work that goes into this and the amount of community attributions and talking and things that they do in other discords are awesome. Then there's got Gamescope and you got NVK, you got Mesa, open source drivers, open source everything. It is honestly really cool to see stuff that is open source that actually works. But it's not always sunshines and rainbows when it comes to this store, but type of thing. You have programs that are tending to be muddier than they are, like Caden Live that are easily bested by programs like DaVinci's Resolve that easily destroy them in ease of use, productivity, features, in every way. <laughs> if Caden Live got better, I would be there 100% on its side, but it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. But in all honesty, I really, really do enjoy being able to just find a new program every day to enjoy, you know? Because that's what being a part of Linux is about, exploring, learning constantly. Learning Linux never ends. Even after 25 years, I'm still discovering new stuff. I just discovered a program. Uh, it's called App Imaged that allows you to drop app images in an applications folder in your user home directory, and they're automatically uh, put in here. Like, look at this. That is amazing. And the kernels are constantly evolving. The CPU schedulers are constantly evolving. And this is what makes Linux so great is its evolution. While Windows is staying stagnant and remaking the same things over and over again, Linux is adding to itself and becoming faster, lighter, more efficient, and utilizing more of your hardware, which Windows has never really done. And it's so awesome. I like that about Linux. Why don't you tell me in your comments what you like about Linux? Be civil in comments, because I want to know. What are your favorite things about Linux? Not distros, favorite things about Linux. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.